Hey guys, it's AJ with YourSongPlan.com. Today is episode one of Reading Cringy Manga. We're gonna read some of my favorite cringy manga and try to make them even cringier. Let's see if that's possible. I bet you it is. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and I hope to see you soon. Hey guys, it's AJ from a few days later, and I'm sorry I couldn't make a video for a couple days because I'm having so many issues with Windows. I tried loading Windows 10, I had tried to reinstall it a million times because it kept freezing up every five seconds as soon as I booted it. So I'm back on Windows 7, and sadly Linux wasn't working either. I couldn't run Moolab, and as we know, running Moolab is pretty much the most important thing, so if you can't run Moolab, there's really no point. So here I'm back on Windows, and today is episode one of reading cringy manga, so I was looking for my favorite cringy manga, High School Debut, but they didn't have that. It was claimed for copyright reasons. So today we're gonna be reading Enren Debut, which is a similar title and a similar theme. Um, Enren means benefactor in Japanese, so I'm not sure exactly what that means, but let's take a look at this. Looks pretty interesting so far. The boy is giving his girlfriend a teary farewell. I care about you so I definitely won't cheat on you. I'll never make you worry. I had a cherry farewell with my dear boyfriend, and we made sure that we love each other. It's been about a month since we said goodbye to one another at the airport. And so her boss is giving her some grief about the relationship. A long distance relationship? <laughs> I'm 100% sure it's definitely going to end. I don't know a single person who's had a successful long distance relationship. Well, I'd be surprised if you guys even lasted ten months. Crash, crash. He drops the plates. Hey, hey, Nagashima, what are you doing? It's all your fault, manager. Ah, were the things I told you too shocking for you? But you know, I'm sure your relationship will definitely end. I'd bet all my possessions on it. I so want to punch him. And her co-worker tells her, Just remind yourself that he's your wallet and swallow the insult, Harina. In fact, I've learned from my own experience that being in a long-distance relationship costs a lot. The cost of cell phone bills and expensive weight on plane tickets. <laughs> That's when I decided to take on another part-time job. But the manager is so annoying. The hour rate here is pretty good, so it's okay. It can't be happening, so it's okay, you know? It can't be happening that a long-distance relationship will be over so soon. I don't want him to say things like that, you know? It's okay, though. It's not happening, but it's such bad luck to talk about it. Your co-worker tells her, You don't think it's uh, okay at all, do you? Huh? A message from her boyfriend. How's your part-time job going? I started working part-time too. Ah, but I took always off during Golden Week. You're coming here, right? You were saying you were going to get tickets, weren't you? Yes, yes, I knew it. It's from Onichan, isn't it? I'm coming, I'm coming, oh -ha. It's been a month since we started a long distance relationship, and it's totally going all right. And I'm going to see him during Golden Week. And her boss is still harassing her. Anyone would be able to get through the month of April. You've got Golden Week, don't you? If you're thinking stuff like, ah, we can see each other during Golden Week, then maintaining the relationship for a month is easy. But after that, you shouldn't think things like, we'll be fine now, because that's not true. This will be the time when the problems really start. After Golden Week is over, that'll be the first time you'll start feeling lonely. The Golden Week holiday that you were looking forward to will have been over so quickly. After that, you guys will have a lot of fights over the phone. You'll be playing a lot of phone tag. And then, once you start having problems in your long-distance relationship, you tend to start liking someone who's always close to you and who listens to your problems. Half the number of couples who are in a long-distance relationship now will break up by summer vacation. Even if they last, they'll find out that their boyfriend was cheating on them already the next time they see him. It's a common story, you know. Your boyfriend is a college student, right? Most of college students think the way I think. An article I read in some newspaper said that only 3% of college students study at home for more than 30 minutes. Just wait. It'll happen exactly the way I told you. Welcome. Welcome! Now that I think about it, there are a lot of college students who are working here in the cafe part-time. And if I look at them carefully, they do seem a bit different from my previous co-workers. Come to think of it, you said you started a new part-time job. I wonder what kind of place it is. This kind of place. Hmm, that looks a lot like this place. A girl, you are kind of pretty, but please don't hit on my boyfriend. You tend to start liking someone who's always close to you. You told me the 
that you will never cheat on me. Haruna, I'm kind of hungry. Buy me something. I have faith in you. You haven't gotten any messages from your boyfriend, have you? You've been checking your cell phone way too often. Now that he mentioned it, I have been checking it way too often. That's proof you're getting worried. You told me all these weird things, so of course I would start caring about something I never want to care about. She's saying all those weird things to your boyfriend too, I think. That girl next to your boyfriend. Huh? When did you see my cell phone? Ah, I see. So there is that kind of girl. I knew it. That's just how long-distance relationships are. <laughs> Do you resent long-distance relationships or something? When it looks like people are about to break up, but it just keeps dragging on. It really gets on my nerves. It's like, get it over with and break up already. Ugh! Our relationship is not almost over at all! Alright, I think we'll stop there. Sorry if I blew your eardrums out. Let me know if you like this, and I hope to see you soon.